What's up everybody, welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival here on the Alpha build for update 1.11.8. Now, if I can quickly find the patch notes, I'll read through them. <clears throat> However, first up, there's something I wanted to show you. We've got a quadcopter here, or looks to be a crashed one that possibly our dog mauled apart and is broken. So one of the main things I've added in this update is loads, and I actually mean loads, I think I've seen about a four or five different ones so far mini events so I will have I've recorded all the ones I've been to so far and I'll show them throughout the video I think I only had my mic on for one of them however let's find out what's gonna happen with the quadcopter looks like it won't fly anymore but you manage to extract coordinates of the launch site from it they're the coordinates of a place nearby right I've got absolutely no idea what this is but just in case it's going to be something difficult or dangerous, I am going to grab myself some a gun. Just in case. Because it's always nice to go out with one. I'll probably just go for a nice simple modded Glock. There we are. Oh, and the armor is almost broken, so we'll... What have we got in here? Let's grab a SWAT helmet. And, you know what, I'm to grab a chest piece as well can I move please so this update because I'm on the alpha it has a lot of bugs many of which I'm sure we'll see in the video the main thing at the moment is it's a little bit stuttery the actual game and the audio can sometimes get really messed up which has been fun but I play most of the time without any sound on anyway and I need to turn that down because I'm going deaf. The spot you need can easily be found with, ex with exact coordinates. So it looks like it's a destroyed convoy. Hmm. Wonder why they had a drone. I'm guessing they probably just didn't want to add in loads more icons, etc. Et for the event. So is that the only one? So we've got the crash plane. Got the dealer, already been to the dealer, already been to the airdrop before recording. So to make the event spawn, you just have to go in and out of your base, maybe run to locations and back. From what I can tell, it's not a specific energy. Oh, hello. I see you found the coordinates. There's military cargo lying nearby. I won't make it there alone, follow me. Oh, of course you won't make it alone, you're using a zip gun. Right, let's try and save you some durability on your zip gun. I guess there's nothing here. Spread shot would have been a little bit useful here, I'm guessing. Yeah, if you hear that, the sound just got all messed up. Time to move on. Okay, so are we going to find any loot here at all? I'll check what is here. Okay, so we need to protect him whilst he's looting. Right, okay, guessing there was nothing there. He's getting attacked again. See, this is interesting. I like little events like this. It reminds me of the hunter's camp. That's the cargo. Locked. Uh, I'm guessing so he has the key for it. Is it going to open this for us? Watch out, something's coming. Is it? Oh! Oh, it's the dead face! Hello! We know you. Alright, so this is an event that can be done early game. Oh! You don't need me anymore. There you go. Attack even slower now. Radar. Uh, and his, yeah, his zip gun was almost broken. It's a real shame we don't get their face mask. I know he wasn't wearing one. Right, let's see what was left in here for us. And... Eh, it's not too bad. So yeah, this is definitely an early game event. You don't need the armor I had coming here. And you can probably let him kill most of everything. 
But, you know what, that's a free energy drink and a med kit. That is the sort of stuff you really need when you're new to the game. Right then. I'm going to finish eating this Weber's original because it's making my mouth water and then I'll read you the patch notes. Alright then, new in version 1.11.8, weapon active skills. We're continuing to add weapon active skills. This update will include four new ones, zip gun with improved revolver base, knife for AK-47, powerful plank for makeshift bat, and the engine for the saw blade mace. That's supposed to say mace, it says maze. I am so disappointed that that doesn't make the saw blade into the metal cutter. I was sure it would. So yeah, that's really disappointing for me. Wardrobe recipe. We have changed the system of character customization. From now on, to change gender, name, or appearance, all you need is to assemble a wardrobe. Remember that changes can be saved for coins, so think very well before getting a new haircut. So what they've done is added in a wardrobe that you can build. Let me see if I can find it here quickly. Here we are, the wardrobe. So it's pretty cheap to make. And they've done this so that you need to pay 25 coins to change your gender. And obviously, hair and name and everything. But that has mainly been done to counteract people doing the gender swap trick to reset enemies. Right, then we've got St. Patrick's Day. Where are we looking here? Raise a pint to St. Patrick's Day. We want, want to get a green hat and celebrate in a big way. Welcome to Dealer Joe. The stock is very limited, but if you're lucky enough and Joe offers you to trade something for a hat, don't ponder. It will stay with you even when the holidays are over. We won't take it away. For those survivors who don't want to celebrate all alone, we've added a mannequin to keep you company. You can find it in the in-game store. I love that. So, they've finally added a mannequin, which is an item I have wanted for so long in this game. And... You can only get it in the store, which, whilst it's a shame, it does mean that they're starting to gear towards adding purchases that people aren't going to completely rage about for being paid to win. Because a mannequin, that's not weapons, etc. That's not really going to have any impact on anything. And then we've got global map. The global map has been overhauled. Some locations have been replaced, so watch where you're going. And localization. Hello, Thailand. Last day on Earth has been localized in Thai specifically for you. Oh, especially for you. My mistake. So there we are. That's the wardrobe. Right then. I know I've covered the map in a section I've already recorded, but we'll come after this. So I'll leave that to post then. What I want to do most is to show you off some of the new weapon mods. Or at least to unlock them and see what they're going to be costing. Let's get off of there. Right, so... Oh, and of course, the mannequin. Let me um, drop things into my junk drop box. Let's just throw all this stuff in here. Don't want to run out of space in there, ideally. Yeah, I think I just have. Oh, well. Right, so our mannequin. We've got it here. This is, honestly, the best item they've added to the game. Now, if I can scroll through here see if I can find my Chinese armor because I said ages ago in a video I wasn't gonna take the Chinese armor out of my inventory until I had a mannequin to put it on and look at that three updates later we've got ourselves a mannequin boom and you know what we can also stick a backpack on it now if I come into here I should have somewhere a spare tactical backpack. There we are. Let's take our spare tactical backpack. Let's put it on you. Voila. Right now, let's rotate him into different poses. I kind of like that one. Let's take a look at all of them. I'm sure there will be... That's a dab. I'm sure there will be videos going through every single pose. I will just do it quickly. There we go. That one's kind of cool. Oh, he's, um, kicking me in the face. That's not very nice. That could actually be cool to make a little, um, image of multiplayer stuff using the mannequin. You could edit the base away to make it look like standing on the foundation. And voila, kicking you in the face. And we got... <laughs> that one's a bit weird. So there's 12 to go. Ah, oh, nice salute. Standing, waving. 
that's the Usain Bolt power stance. We got nice dancer's pose. And we've got is that I think that's um Queen. Let's go for the Usain Bolt pose. I like that. Right, on to the weapon mods. Here we have the blueprints for them. These are the four new ones. So we've got the knife for the AK. We've got the face breaker for the bat. We've got the engine for the saw blade. And the... Look at that, that looks nice. And the improved revolver base. Right then. I've got no idea what any of these are going to cost to craft. And at the moment I only have about two factory parts which makes me very, very sad. So I might have to look into getting some factory parts. Right, but because I'm on the alpha, you can't actually buy anything. Right, so improved revolver. Dance active, grants active skill double shot. Okay, so you'll shoot two bullets at once. That's, that's all right. And it has a plus two speed, but decreases damage. I'm not sure why they feel the need to nerf the revolver a bit. That has never made any sense to me. We still have not gotten that one. Right, so where is it? The face breaker, which adds the powerful strike. Okay, that's actually relatively cheap. The steel's going to be a pain for a lot of people. Now, this is the one that we want right here. Engine. So, we have got everything apart from those 10 factory parts. That has a massive decrease to speed on it though. Grants active skill soaring. So, ooh, does it metal? No, it's not going to be the metal cutter. They would have said something in the patch notes. Right, so that's adding, yeah, an engine to it. Now, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I can't make any of those at all. Right. Why is this drone still here? Can I not? Am I not able to take it out? That's a shame. Alright, and speaking of the stuff in the store, here we are, the Irish pack, which is added in. This is where you can buy the top hat, how, the Patty's hat, sorry. You can also get it from the dealer. But there are these items too. That would be nice to get. Military notebooks. You can get, if you buy all 12, you get 20 of them. As well as C4 military back. I'm surprised they didn't do. Oh, oh, okay. They're doing green items. I see it. And then there's the green outfit there. Where you're going to get the mannequin, a set of military, <laughs> some whiskey, some coins, and your top hat. So, in theory, if you buy everything in the store, you could get instantly three top hats, which would be cool. Right, I think what I'm going to do is play those other clips that I've got recorded of the events. I uh, hope you will enjoy them, and I'll see you back in a moment. Alright, welcome back everybody. So, this clip that I'm recording now, I am actually recording before the first part of this video because it's just gone midnight here and I want to go to bed, and I don't have time to record the first part, so I'm doing this bit. Right then, the event has popped up. I'm not sure which one it is. It was something to do with Jack being under attack from zombies. So we are going to go and help out Jack, who is right here. So whilst I'm here, might as well show off the new main map. So first thing you'll see, watchtower here. You need to unlock a watchtower in order to visit Blackport PD, which sucks in my opinion. But if that's what the devs wanted, that's what they're going to do, and clearly that's what they wanted. So gas stations moved over here on this twisty road, and then up here we've got, what's that, we've got the motel there, and then the road just follows round. Now we can see there it's a broken road, broken bridge over the river, that's why we can't pass. And I think that's the main changes we see. Bunker Charlie, I believe, used to be on that island, possibly, I'm not 100% sure to be honest. But there we are, Jack's house. I don't think there's anything else that we really need to bother pointing out that's that different. Oak clearing events in new location. And I'm thinking these AI bases vanish after a few hours of being there. But we'll find out. Let's run to Jack's house. Now I think it's going to take about 3 to 5 energy to get to there from there. What's it going to take? Oh, it's going to take 10 energy. 
does not look that far away. Let's see what Jack wants. I'm also starting to get a horrible headache. Hello. Help me get rid of all zombies. Okay. Hey, we leveled up. Okay. Alright, now there's... Okay, we're just getting kind of waves of zombies coming in. So, at this point, do we... There's something else I want to ask you. Cover me while I'm fixing the walls. Okay. Ah, oh, right, so he's going to repair his walls. We need to stop zombies from killing him. I guess that's fair. Just wants to make his house a home again. Right, let's... Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. Definitely an early beginner game event. Now, are we going to be able to steal from him afterwards? I'm not sure, so I have brought axes and things with me. No, don't kill him. Not failing this event. There we go. Let's guard him here at the final door. run in and I think the last ones are all going to be coming from around here thanks let's go have a chat okay looks like it's done now great job wait I can hear something it's them again they're about to smash down this wall I think they might be we should have built some stone walls I'm getting out of here okay you can leave if you like Right, so he has actually, yeah, just up and left. What's in this single box? We're getting an energy drink, some nails. Okay. So it's a nice little event. Doesn't really... It's definitely an early game player. Oh, I did not need to do that. But look at that. We've got a drop all button. That is beautiful. Is that my chopper? Yeah. Now, is there anything else here, or is it just that one box? I'm thinking it's going to be just that one box. Yeah, we can't break his walls. I love that shotgun mod. It's so powerful. Is that everything, then? I believe that is. So, over the next couple days, I'm going to try and record all of these little events that have been added in. So, I hope you all enjoy. Welcome back everybody, heading out to check out another of the new events. As you will have seen in the last little clip that had no microphone still, I met a little puppy at my base and I chased it along. It ran off and it showed this little location on the map for us. I've got a couple of machetes and a Glock with me because I don't know what's going to be there. Right, let's head over to the forest edge. Can I... Not run there? Drive there? Well, that's weird. I'm going to put a bit more fuel in my chopper and then find out. Right, so it looks like we actually can't travel there. One of the amazing perks of being on Alpha is we get bugs like this. So I can't actually go over to that event. Hopefully it will show up. Uh, hopefully it will show up again and we'll be able to show you what happens over there, but for now, we can't get there, unfortunately. For this next event, you load into your base and you see there's a dead deer there. It's kind of just sitting there and normally it looks like your dog has murdered it and is eating its offal. Once you, when you're standing there looking at it, two people will run over and stand next to your truck and say, Hey, you killed our deer. Give us, give us the meat. So you interact with them. They want four hide and four meat, even though a deer only gives one of each greedy kids. Anyway, so you have to either give them the stuff 
and they will walk off and do absolutely nothing or you can just ignore them and at which point they will turn on you and start attacking you. You can kill them very straightforward and easy but you don't really get anything from killing them. I'd say it's probably more beneficial to kill them than to give them your meat and hide because the meat and hide's pretty useful for feeding dogs, making weapons, etc. Also this clip recorded without any game audio or microphone audio so I'm recording this bit of me talking whilst editing. Right everybody, now unfortunately there are two more events that I have not had show up for me yet and I've kind of run out of time to get bits recorded because I need to go to work soon. So I do however have information about the events from the other YouTubers on the Alpha so I can tell you a bit about them. One of them is bear hunting. So bears have finally been added to the game and I am actually being murdered in the background. Let's just kill that quickly. So, as I was saying, bear hunting. A puppy will be roaming around the pickup truck where, and when approached it will run out of your home map and an event will respawn named Edge of Forest. So that's the one we couldn't get into. Once you enter you will be greeted by an AI equipped with a modded bow and will assist you with killing the young bear which has 500 HP and low damage and it will drop you 4 meat and 2 leather. Once you kill the bear you can collect the puppy and loot the bear's cave which will give you a baseball bat with an active skill mod a survivor's diary, an energy drink, and just some other various items. There's another one as well that unfortunately we haven't gotten to experience, which is protecting the wounded soldier. There will be an injured soldier resting up against your pickup truck, and upon interacting, he will require a bandage to be healed. Once you give him a bandage, roaming zombies will spawn nearby and start heading to the injured soldier. Let me kill this quickly. There we go. Whilst he is recovering, so the player has to protect him for a short period of time, whilst he heals, and then he says he owes you one and just stumbles away. At the moment he doesn't do anything, he just says alright yeah thanks I owe you one and he kinda leaves and that's it. We might see more from him in the future, we might not, I'm guessing probably not. But I believe that is all of the events that are in the new update. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video, found it helpful and or informative. And yeah, hope you've all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.